Hey guys, Repos here, and welcome back to some more Maneater. And it has been a while since I've done one of these, but this is Hotfix number two. And so they have said down here that we apologize for the frustrations the issues have caused. You thank you for your patience, and we will work. We have worked to get them addressed for the latest. Keep your eyes here, obviously. So this is what they've been currently working on. So this is actually coming out today of the recording which is like midnight in the UK so hey whatever so basically this is coming out later on today so here we go all platforms save games added an error message if a save game has become corrupted and uns unusable sorry this message will show up in the main menu which the player will be returned if to if the save is unusable we are continuing to look into how this rare corruption can happen so that's a good thing they're looking into the saved game stuff so that's pretty sweet optimization and stability fixed several stability issues across all platforms that's pretty good i know i had a few frames drop in certain areas when doing my gameplay stuff so yeah uh, landmark collectibles story progression and environments this is the big part of it so we have fixed queen of the ocean not triggering due to unintended hidden objects those objects have been removed from the requirements that's pretty cool found a fixed found and fixed another case where the player shark could revert to the mother shark now i'd never had this one um actually happen to me i actually haven't had both of these happen to me so that's actually pretty interesting that you could get back revert back to the mother shark so that's pretty sweet but kind of annoying i guess fixed a condition where the player objective had been completed but the reward item slash evolution had not been granted example shadow teeth evolution so that must be really annoying for those people who are trying to complete the evolution trophy and all that stuff so that sucks fixed a condition where some narrate or dialogue and would not play and subtitles would not display during the tutorial okay that's never happened to me but kind of annoying fix the condition where the objective icons would disappear from the overhead map very annoying i assume never happened to me either quests prey bounty hunters rebalanced the third pete encounter to make it more challenging okay so it kind of wasn't very challenging the third that time it was like really easy so it is what it is i think i died like once doing it but hey fixed humans being able to be grabbed from the under sea of a boat okay that one kind of understandable like if you're going to project yourself like um, launch yourself from the sea and you're obviously grabbing someone from the under boat which is annoying for, yeah well, it's that's cool it's fixed <laughs> player shark and combative wildlife found and fixed another case where the tiger shark skin could be removed and unevolved from the player shark it should now rem remain remember now it should now remember the evol evolved state okay that okay sweet fixed and found another case where the player shark could be hitting the water surface when fast traveling resulting in being stuck in the knifing position in the grotto no i don't want that one that's pretty cool <laughs> fixed the fixed the camera pop that could occur when fighting boats from the knifing position or in the air okay menu you menu slash ui slash settings update credits pretty cool fix the case where damage numbers would show up where the human was before they were grabbed okay that's pretty cool fix the case where editing Editing the sound or our gameplay settings and then quitting the game would have those changes discarded. Okay, so basically if you change the sound settings and the gameplay settings, they would be discarded if you quit the game. Okay, that's annoying. And fixed a Portuguese localization issue. Very interesting. Menu UI settings. The game will now pause if the player hits the home button. That's pretty decent that you, you want that. PS4, that was, that was the Xbox. PS4, landmark collectibles fixed a case where player completion was stuck at one at, a, at sub 100 story progression after getting to the after party. Okay, for PC menu UI settings, 
fixed and so screenshot mode not being usable after a fast travel fixed hud elements not dis disappearing when using ansel so they are all your updates for the day basically so i would hopefully get them down and you'll be able to sort some stuff out which is pretty sweet and hopefully they will continue to fix the issues that keep popping up and hopefully roll out something new for us to chew into that would be pretty interesting i mean i haven't played the game since i've completed it but i'm also still covering the hot fixes in every update that i can find and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more man eater coming your way very soon if you want to check out my gameplay link to that is down below so you can go check out all the man eater fun that i've been up to in the game and of course i'll see you in the next one peace